Hey, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, this is comical to me because people say you just have a complex. It's not different for the Cowboys. You are just a homer. You you just make shit up. It's not really there. So when we see, you know, Micah Parsons being held left and right and not getting calls, you know, it's it's all fabricated in my mind. When we have calls that are, you know, tripping on Peyton Hendershot and the pitchers actually show that Agent Hutchinson tried to trip Tony Pollard, that we ended up getting 15 yards moved back when we should have gotten 15 yards moving ahead, that it's really just done with mirrors and a figment of our imagination. And when we listen to the talking heads out there, they treat things differently than they do with other teams when it comes to the Cowboys. Now, I will say the Detroit Lions... They're an 11-win team. They had already sewn up their division. They have the number three by pro football, by the boys of pro football focus, the number three offensive line in football. They have one of the best rushing attacks in football. They're a good team. They're a really good team. Now, Cowboys made some mistakes that actually kept the Lions into the game. But you looked at it, Dak Prescott had 350 yards passing on a night when his offensive line wasn't really doing good and didn't really have um, uh, much of a running attack, and they found ways to win. Dak Prescott had one of the most incredible 92-yard pass plays getting away from being sacked in the end zone to make it an incredible pass. CeeDee Lamb broke the single-season yardage and reception record for the Dallas Cowboys. It was a historic night. You, you looked at this and said, the Dallas Cowboys got it back into the playoff race. And the funny thing is, is all we've been hearing this week is, well, I don't know about the Cowboys. You know, it was with the Lions, uh, you know, it, it wasn't the Cowboys found a way to win. That Dak Prescott took the Cowboys being down to the game leading drive at the end of the game, second week in a row. Right? It's still, they doubt the Cowboys. I want to play something, and probably this will get copyrighted because the shit that they speak, they don't like you to, you know, like put them on blast. But I just want to play the audio here because this is kind of interesting. I want you to listen to this. I want to listen to how they praised. The Eagles. Brown has an NFL record six consecutive games Ooh. with 125 plus yards or more receiving. Wow. But James, did the yeah. Eagles prove to you that they are the best team in football? Well, I'll be lying if I said they did because I had them number one last week, right, Shady? As you had them number two, I had them number one. But yes, they did. I mean, this is a team like I just I just touched on consistency. This is a team that consistency just finds ways to win. It is hard. We played. It is hard to win in the National Football oh, League. I don't care who goes out there. The Bears used to be sorry, kind of like they are now, and we used to go out there and look up at the fourth quarter and like, dang, it's 7-7. Seven, seven. <laughs> like, it's hard to win in the National Football League. So every game they've been in, they've always made the play when they've had to make the play. And that is a sign of a really good football team. We talked about Jalen Hurts turning the football over. He keeps on overcoming all that. When he has to make the throw, when he has to make the play, they're doing it. Same thing on the defense, right? Early in the season, pass rush ain't there. But when they need a sack yeah. or got to get to the quarterback, Reddick, they are it. making the plays to win the football game. So that lets me know we just watched the Kansas City Chiefs not make the plays, right? Mm -hmm. Five turnovers, not make the plays against a – not really good Denver Broncos football team. So this team is just finding ways to win. You know, I, I wish you, I wish I could show Shady because Shady over right here. Now, I hate he, to he say it. He, he's he's, 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 he's happy as a pumpkin. He got all this. I know, no, I know it's Halloween. I know you celebrate Halloween. <laughs> Eagles right and, and, now. And you sound good. Football. You love my Eagles, so I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sign this for him, man. Keep passing the James. Twenty five shame court. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You like? He likes the Eagles, and he's cheering for Halloween. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it to a young Eagles. Yeah, take that. Yeah, yeah. I see one at the airport. That's seventy five dollars. That's seventy five dollars. By the way, because me, I might drop it in. Did we prove we're the best? team of football? Yes, sir. No, we didn't prove that. No. We didn't prove that. Last week. We already knew that. We already knew that. Mm. When we were arguing about this, James Jones, yep. 
Yeah, you kept saying, they're not playing great. They're not playing great. I said, listen, that's the best thing. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> that's the beauty of it. Ross. That's the beauty of it. That's because the beauty of it. When we're winning games and it's ugly fashion, mm -hmm. that's okay. You need some of them games. Every smart coach says that. There's some games you're going to win that you shouldn't win. Mm -hmm. And there's games that you're going to lose that you shouldn't have lost. Yeah. And we lost to the Jets. We that happened to us. But all the ugly wins we did, we got that. We're the only team in football right now today that's active that could win by so many different ways. For example, we could either throw the ball for 400 yards, four touchdowns, something like that, right? Throw the ball with MVP type of wide receiver, mm -hmm. AJ Brown. Or we could run the ball for 200 yards if our pass game's not working. <laughs> Every team can't do that. On the defensive side, some teams might want to run the ball. Cool. We got some big ones that stop the run. And now we got we, we, we get to the quarterback on the on the pass rush. We can win by so many different ways. So if you ask me, we the best team. Troy Taylor, it gotta be us. <laughs> Be us. Yeah, brought up in the meeting last week. You said the Chiefs was the best team. Why I'm like, like let's see, I like that. Yeah, I know. Because he thought he got one. Oh, he my did. God. The reason why I said the Chiefs were the best team in football. Oh, one reason, God, no. One, because their record, uh -huh. right? Same I hadn't listened to this whole. I only listened to the, listen to the beginning of it. The thing is, but, when they play face-to-face, -face, they beat the Eagles. And in the last five to six years, seven years, geez. the Chiefs been the best team in football. Oh. And I'm a big believer in, you got to beat the champ to beat the champ. Mm. But as much as I thought that Belich Bill Belichick all them years ago when I was with the Buffalo Bills, I said he's not that good of a coach. He got y'all fooled. He got Tom Brady. I couldn't say that publicly. Oh, you couldn't right? tell everybody. Couldn't but, tell the world. But soon it happened. I said, I told y'all. I told you. I, I didn't even respect oh. six rings with the, with, the, with, the, with the character. Fair. See, I'm glad I asked now. you that question. Okay. That's I, I, I have to hear what Joy has to say. Because but... they don't have the same record anymore. Mm. So they got the same record. You got to give the nod a chance. They dropped. Yeah, they did. They you got to update your information. Oh, my I God. Think the Let, let's hear what Joy had to say about this. Oh, well, thank you, Joy. We because appreciate that. I, I've yeah. got a surprise we, list once it's all done. The most complete team. I don't know who's we, but we, we. Oh, no, no, no. When I say we. No, no, we is you, the Eagles. Yeah, right, right. Eagles is we, yes. You, we, see. They're the best team in the NFL. The, outside of the record, obviously, which, you know, we could, we could easily point to and say, okay, well, they have the best record in the NFL this far into the season. It's fair to say that they're the best. But I do think the thing I, I have loved about the Eagles, loved it last year, and it's, con came, it's con been consistent this year as well, is what you both said. Just find ways to win games. It's hard to win Just games. Just win, baby. Just win. Blowouts are fun. They're exciting. They get everyone excited. And they do mean something. It do. Do, does mean that you they have the ability to <laughs> they do feel better. They do feel better than convincing bullshit. and they're dominant. But find ways to win games. You don't get oh, points in the NFL. Oh, it's not college. It's win loss oh, at the end of the oh, day. Okay. And you learn what you learn in between. So I, I think the Eagles have been the most consistent and are the best team in the NFL. Well, and if you give AJ Brown a Okay. Let me say the Dallas Cowboys found a way to win. When it mattered most because you were still in the middle of trying to go from the fifth seed to the second seed. You don't have any more pressure than that where it's you've got to have it, okay? You've got to have this victory, and you're going against an 11-win team. A hot 11-win team, right? The Cowboys find a way to win against this good team. And it's kind of like, I don't know, the Cowboys just barely, you know, we didn't hear any of that stuff that you find a way to win. It's hard to win in the NFL. That was after the Eagles survived the Commanders. The left hand up, who are we? We're stinking bad. Yeah, they forgot deodorant. This is where... Scary Terry dropped two sure first down plays that would have given a first down and an opportunity to tie the score to go to overtime a second time against the Eagles. From a quarterback, Sam Howe, who doesn't seem to know how, who was benched for Jacoby Brissett, but is now starting against the Cowboys because Jacoby Brissett got injured. Now, you tell me, I'm asking for a friend, am I just a homer that sees things through blue-colored glasses, or is this some shit? Or is this some shit? You heard Joy Taylor say they've got the best record in football, so clearly they're the best. Well, uh, not if you haven't been playing anybody. Oh, it's okay. 
we said they weren't a good team when they were barely beating stiffs like the commanders. And for them, it was, oh, they're finding ways to win. There's some games where you're not going to be at your best and stuff, and you're just playing down the competition. The reality is they are like the competition over there. Yes, they found ways to win against bad teams. And mind you, the guy who is benched in Washington who will be looking for a job this offseason put up 31 points on you guys twice. 31 points. So, yeah, it bothers me that everything is not the same. You're not treated the same when you are the Dallas Cowboys versus everybody else. Cowboys beat the Lions. Cowboys beat the Lions. Something only four other teams have done all season. And somehow, I don't know about those guys. They beat the Commanders, something everybody's been doing. And they are incredible because they squeaked out a win and found a way to win. Yeah, that's some bullshit. All right, good people. It's Mark Holmes, and I'm, of course, always trying to keep them on their toes.